Hi, Dr. Paul Heater, Master Herbalist here. You know, I'm talking about antibiotics versus probiotics. You know, I know some people and uh, there's a husband and wife and a bunch of kids. And every time that the, the kids get sick or they have a little sniffle or the wife gets sick, they run to the doctor, they either give them a shot of antibiotics or some pills. And... A week later, they're better, and two weeks later, they feel bad again. They end up with something else, and they go back, and they start the whole process over and over and over again. And they're sick more often than they are well. And, but the husband, he refuses to take the antibiotics, and he's actually well more often than he's sick. He hardly ever gets sick, in fact. And so it's kind of a testament to the fact that Every time we take an antibiotic, we kill off all the probiotics in our, our body. These are good bacteria in our body. And at the same time, we're, as we kill, kill all that off, we are starting the process of allowing other bacteria to start growing and multiplying also, which a lot of them are not good, and are kept in check by the good bacteria or probiotics. I was also another person I know, and he would go to the bathroom and the food would come out totally undigested, and he thought he was going to die. And I said, no, I don't think so. I think that you actually depleted all the probiotics in your body, every bacteria in your body, and he's unable to digest. And without those bacteria to digest our food, we can't absorb food. And he started taking probiotics and, and a lot of it, and uh, within a month or so, he was back to normal and feeling good again and enjoying life. It's really important that we take that four pounds of good bacteria that we have in our gut and promote it and help it to find a good way to uh, proliferate and be our hmm, guiding light of immunity in our body. There's no doubt about that. You know, most people don't think of the bacteria as good. Well, we've kind of swung so far to the other side. We you know at one time we had antibiotics like uh, penicillin come out, and they were like the boon, and during World War II, they helped people to recover because we didn't have anything else, and that was great. And then we went into disinfectants, and we cleaned everything, and that's all well and good. And then we went all the way to the other side, so we are become totally sterile. And if we take mice and we put them into a bubble and we don't allow any bacteria to get to them, and then we let them out into the real world, they die because they don't have any kind of immunity at all. And that's basically what we're doing to ourselves. You know, in Japan, some of the oldest people in the world still live on pack compacted dirt floors. And there's lots of bacteria and good bacteria. <laughs> it reminds me that our dog sometimes lick the floor. I think everybody's dog does that. <laughs> you know, dogs hardly ever get sick. I'm not saying go out and lick the floor, that's for sure. <laughs> but I think it's important to uh, allow ourselves to have, you know, some good bacteria in our life and uh, not to disinfect everything all the time. I mean, it's a, there is a middle road there. I think it is important to lower down the bacteria as much as possible, but if we disinfect too much, we also start killing off those chemicals, start killing off our probiotics in our body, and it's not a good thing. And uh, those probiotics even change our mood. Our mood isn't controlled by those probiotics. And there's a lot of people thinking that even mental illness is caused by a lack of probiotics in our body. And certain types of mental illness cases. So it's really important that we swing to the middle <laughs> and find a middle ground and start taking probiotics. And, uh, you know, when I was a kid, we pull a carrot out of the ground, we wash it off a little bit with a hose and eat it. You know, we weren't disinfecting it all the time. And, uh, and when we cook food, we kill all those bacteria that are on the outside of that carrot, which are good for us. There's no doubt about it. 
And so we need to find that middle ground, that middle ground of loving ourselves by allowing good bacteria to grow inside of us and to create loving health for our body. And that way, we're not sick all the time. That way we have a good mood. That way we have a m good mental outlook on life. And we just feel better. And that's what I want for you. I love you.